This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with another PowerPoint tip to help you make happy hour. How to create sequential numbering sequences in your PowerPoint tables using Excel. And here in PowerPoint, I have a table mocked up with some price comparisons of our company's products at different locations. And what I want to do is create a number sequence, 1 through 10, for the different locations there on the left side of the table. And if I select all of my locations here on the left side of my table and hit Alt H N and pick a numbering style, you can see that each of the cells defaults to the number one. So this is very similar to our shapes and text boxes. Now we could use our keyboard sequence to change each one of these cells individually, but when you're working with tables in PowerPoint, using Excel is even faster. You just wanna make sure that you avoid unnecessary formatting. So I'll hit Control Z to undo, and then hit Control C to copy all of my locations. The location is copied. I'll hold the Alt key and hit Tab to jump to a blank Excel sheet that I already have open. I'm then going to select two columns and actually drag them out so that I don't have to do any unnecessary formatting. I'll click in, Control V to paste, holding Shift, I'll select another column and hit Control R to copy all of my information to the right. And you want to do this to avoid some unnecessary formatting later on. With the two columns, I'll then click into column C in my case, type the number one, hit enter. I'll then holding Shift, select all of the other rows down below, type the equal sign up, plus one, hold the control key and hit enter to force that formula into all of the individual cells themselves. Now that we have our numbers one through 10, all we need to do is combine it with all of our locations in column D. And to do that, first I'll select everything here in column E, and now I need to write a formula. And the formula is gonna look like this. Equal sign, navigate to your number, space, ampersand, space, open quote, we'll put a period, space, end quote, space, ampersand space and then navigate to our location now the spaces i've added are optional excel doesn't need them but i find it makes the formula a lot easier to read once you have the formula set up hold the control key and hit enter and all the numbers are combined with our locations but you can see that we have a spacing problem for our last number because it's a two digit number and it's important to remember that these are space bar returns these are not tab stops so to fix this you want to select all of your single digit numbers and then mimic a tab stop, add two additional spaces. So space, space, control, enter. All of my locations line up just like a tab stop. I'll select all of the locations, control C to copy, alt tab to flip back to PowerPoint. I have all of my locations already selected, control V to paste. And because I use that second column, all of the formatting paste perfectly. Hit shift F5. And there you can see all of my locations numbered one through 10. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.